bringing you another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Smart is out there with White. Then it's Williams. Then there's Jalen Brown. And it's Tatum in at the four spot. And for the Lakers, Patrick Beverly out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's LeBron James. Then there's Davis. And it's Walker in at the small forward. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Smart deciding where to go with it. Passes to Tatum. Back to Smart. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And stolen by Tatum. To the paint, here's Brown, and he lays it straight in. Well, you can tell there's a team first mentality with the young gun Jason Tatum working to find the open teammate. Nice. Here's Westbrook. Good work defensively by Smart. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. To the middle, here's Davis. That shot is off. Nice D from Williams. Celtics on offense. Over in the corner, White. Smart dishes to Tatum. Over James. A nice shot by Tatum. One thing Jason Tatum has showed us is he can make contested shots in the NBA. Think about that guy. So young, yet so unshakable. Shots good by Walker. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Outside, smart. Brown outside. Six on the shot clock, and he gets the bucket. Then Kevin, Jalen Brown thrives when it comes to scoring through contact. This is a guy who is constantly looking to initiate that body contact with the defense. And James gets it to go. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Smart against Westbrook. Nice shot by Smart. Smart's got his first bucket in this one. Uh, the clever floater, right? Marcus Smart putting the right amount of touch on what is really a tough shot. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes against Boston. Lakers shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Both free throws good from James. Don't you get the sense that LeBron James is in complete command, not only of himself, but of his teammates? The drive this guy possesses is truly incredible. Alinari, he's checked in for Brown. Lakers on D, trailing by two, and it's the Lakers on the break. Yeah, easy call. The Lakers have gone two for two in the game at the line. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. The pass to Brogdon. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. And they'll keep possession. Lock at six. He blocks it again. And that one is hammered home. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. The 11-footer, they get a bet. Tries again. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close... And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Schroeder uses the glass to finish the layup. And here is Brogdon. 
and for the Celtics. It's tipped. Griffin. Last break, the Lakers. Here's none. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Gallinari. The Lakers have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Celtics trail by six. Smart kicks to Gallinari. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Los Angeles leading by three. Pass to none. Stolen by Smart. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Loads it up for Davis. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And it's smart with the ball for Boston. In the corner, Harvard with it. Pass to Gallinari. Shot clock at five. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Busted. No good that time either. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Now, here is Gallinari. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Outside, smart. The high post shot. The Lakers with the rebound. Pass to none. Golinari with the rebound. Celtics trail by five. Smart on the wing. Over Davis. And too long on the shot. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that. Now, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. For Boston, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Six seconds separating the shot and game blocks. And there's Brogdon on the assist by Williams. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Here's none, guarded by Smart. Baseline J on the way, and Davis gets it to go. Davis has got six. As dangerous as he is inside, Davis gives opponents nightmares when he's able to get to the mid-range. He's very reliable when he steps back and takes the jump shot. And so that's the end of the first half. Los Angeles on top, up seven. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. Lakers leading by seven. So for the Lakers right now, they've got LeBron James. Russell Westbrook out there with Patrick Beverly. Then there's Davis, and it's Walker in at the three, the small forward. The Celtics shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Here's Brown. That shot off. Walker with some nice D. Loads it up for Davis, and finished off by Davis. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Westbrook against Smart. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. 
Tatum, that's for two. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Pre-shot preparation and catch and shoot is important. Jason Tatum on point. James looking around. He can't get that one. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does grab. Celtics trail by seven. Tatum finds Smart. Back to Tatum. From 17 feet out. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists in the game. The Lakers have gone two of four here to start the second half. Stolen by Smart. White drives in, banked in off the glass. White's got his first two points of the night. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. James, it's good on the putback. And the Lakers lead by five. What a pleasure to watch LeBron James get after it on the backboards. The frame is incredible. His strength off the charts. Good luck. Smart passes to White. Outside Tatum. Smart against Westbrook. Six to shoot. Let's it go from 14. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Here's LeBron. And he drops it in from the low post. And now a seven-point Laker lead. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Tatum with it. He's picked up by James. Offensive rebound. Smart, wide open, he fires. No good from outside. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Seven-point differential. On the court for the Celtics. We've got White. He's out there with Brown. Tatum out there with Williams. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Schroeder, White covering, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Celtics trail by four. Inside, knocked away. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Beverly. Finished off the break. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. White, good. That's a huge three-pointer. He'd love to become a go-to guy for them here in crunch time. Yeah, and when he gets going, he adds another dimension to their offense that can make a huge difference when the game's on the line. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. To the left side wing. Back to Tatum. From 11 feet away, that shot no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Tatum deciding where to go with it. And the shot goes down. Well, Jason Tatum in a big moment. He is unafraid. Lakers leading by five. And the pass to Beverly. It's tipped. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Tatum's shot is off. 
104 left in the fourth quarter. And it's Davis finishing it off. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Both teams will make substitutions. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for the guys during the timeout. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey, guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, Kevin. Well, Jason Tatum has the kind of size and length to be effective near the cup. Really good job staying in attack mode. James finds Davis. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven-point game. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, this lead will be safe. Walker against Tatum. In the corner, smart with it. Shot clock at six. He's looking for Williams and finds him. But showing that aggressive nature, Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contest. And they go to the intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by seven. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Some call them wins and lessons. Coach not wasting any time making his point. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. The three. Got it. And now they trail by just four. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. You had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Well, what you love about Russell Westbrook, yes, he can give you a triple-double every night. But what I love more is the passion and the fact that he gives it to you every single night he plays. Tatum kicks to Smart. Here's White. And the three off target. And so the Lakers take the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long, Anthony Davis. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp, and his touch from the field, flawless. The teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some...